I think the quality of teaching here is phenomenal. Um, I, I'm lost for words just trying to explain it. Um, I think it's really good. Um, it's such an amazingly high standard and um, just sort of the relationships you build with your lecturers is uh, fantastic and the level of um, sort of teaching and sort of personal teaching in a way is um, very, very good. Um, one of my worries when I came to uni was that um, there wasn't going to be that relationship there because obviously you've got your lecturer who stands at the front of the hall in front of 150 students. How are they going to get to know you? But sure, at the beginning, the two weeks, sort of as you're getting into it, everyone's new to each other and you're trying to build your new relationships. But with, through workshops, tutorials and stuff like that, um, they get to know you really, so, uh, really quickly. So the relationships get built. No, I think every lab has its own little memory associated with it. Now each one has its funny side or you do something that's really cool. Especially the one with chemical luminescence. So that's really cool. <laughs> we all just stood there for ages like, wow. And then we um, did the thing with kind of like dry ice and taking pictures secretly. <laughs> so no one knew, but it was really good. I think the demonstrators are really good. Um, it's nice to have someone who has been there. Um, sort of three or four years before you and has been in the same situation where you're standing there not knowing what to do and yet you can ask and they'll just sort of like yeah you just do this rather than sort of being at your throat saying why haven't you read the script or uh, something like that so it's nice to have someone you can relate to in a way because you have the lab uh, managers who are they know everything and uh, they, uh, they're there for your safety and to tell you what to do and then you've got the PhD students who are sort of more like friends and you can sort of rely on them to give you like little hints when you're stuck and then to help you out with the calculations at the end and just make the lab experience that bit better really as it can be quite a stressful time sometimes. No time at all. <laughs> I was really worried about it and thought oh, I'm not going to meet anyone, I'm going to be on my own. <laughs> but then you just turn up and everyone's so welcoming and it's just like oh hi what's your name, where are you from and then you just start off and first labs I remember being really nervous about that but I just came in and everyone just wanted. <laughs> no one like will turn you down or be worried about people not wanting to talk to you. Everyone wants to talk to everyone. It's really good. I like to think I fit in fairly quickly. Um, I know that's one worry that everyone has when they come to uni, that you've been in this nice close friendship group for, well, nearly most of your life, if you're lucky enough. And then you suddenly you find it just sort of destroyed with everyone going across the country, maybe into different countries to go to university. And it, it is a big worry, but you, everyone's in the same boat. So you all come along, not many people know anyone, and then everyone comes together and it's like, you can just make friends so easy. Um, and you're all on the same course for three or four years, so I think you all sort of collaborate and make friends very easily.